Take a look at this photo. Smoke is everywhere in this scene along the shores. One must think they stumbled upon a volcanic wasteland, but this is not the case. This is not a volcanically active area. So what is causing these hills to emit a lot of smoke? This geological wonder and anomaly is aptly named Smoking Hills. Smoking Hills is located on the east coast of Cape Bathurst in Canada's Northwest Territories next to the Arctic Ocean. John Franklin, who was a British Royal Navy officer and explorer, was the first European to see them in 1826. At first, he initially thought he stumbled upon volcanic or hydrothermal activity, but this was not the case. This area is pretty isolated. In fact, the nearest town is called Paula Tuk, which lies about 65 miles or about 105 kilometers to the east, and its name means place of coal or place of soot. The Smoking Hills phenomenon is caused by the autoignition of high sulfur content lignite or brown coal and pyrite laden shales. This is what pyrite looks like. Pyrite or iron sulfide is also known as fool's gold due to its brassy gold color. When pyrite comes into contact with atmospheric oxygen and water, it decomposes into very hydrite and sulfuric acid. Lignite has a low carbon content, about 25 to 35%, and is formed over the course of 60 million years from peat. The active burn areas contain low-grade pyrite and oil shales, which spontaneously combust when exposed to the oxygen and also ignites the lignite. Eventually, the pyrite-laden minerals will form jarosite, a rare mineral primarily found on Mars. As the hillside erodes more, these combustible materials are exposed and ignites. Oxygen takes the electrons from the pyrite and organic material in the shale, which releases large amounts of heat and also about 25 tons of sulfur dioxide per day. The temperature at the surface of the exposed burning minerals can be as high as 600 degrees Celsius or around 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, making it difficult to study the area. Sulfur dioxide also reacts to the water, forming acid-laced water ponds. The heating process also causes the rocks to change color particularly to red, black, brown, yellow, and white. Visitors rarely set foot in this area due to the high concentrations of sulfur dioxide and must have a sulfur dioxide respirator. Also, small, highly acidic, and toxic ponds dot the area with a pH less than two. However, they are not devoid of life. Acid-resistant algae and bugs can thrive in this harsh and hellish environment and has practically its own ecosystem. Smoking hills have been burning for thousands of years and will continue to burn for many years to come.